Hi, I'm Ed Del Grande, and today we're talking about certain issues you should keep in mind before installing a standby generator. Most people don't realize it, but it can take up to three weeks to get a standby generator installed. So, the best time to start is now. Homeowners should have a consultation and site visit with a local generator dealer or electrical contractor. Getting a generator permit and making sure the generator meets local ordinances, addressing flood risk, noise and electrical codes also take additional time. Consider what size standby generator is right for your needs. Most residential generators range from 8 kilowatts to 125 kilowatts. Smaller size generators from 8 kilowatts to 17 kilowatts are often popular for essential loads, meaning a few key predetermined appliances or for a whole host application, which would require a higher kilowatt generator to power everything in the house. Generator manufacturers will often feature a wattage calculating tool on their internet websites to help give you an idea of what size generator will suit your needs by indicating what appliances you want to power and adding together the total wattage needed. Because installing standby generator requires running fuel lines and electrical wires, you'll need people like a licensed pipe fitter, electrician, or general contractor to come down and check out the job before you get started. They'll match you up with a generator that'll fit your needs. Qualified installers will also be familiar with your local regulations, such as flood, noise, and electrical codes. When the job's complete, they'll make sure it's within total compliance. To find one of these distributors, check the manufacturer's website or the yellow pages, and that way you'll get a dealer right in your area.